Welcome back YouTube. More painting. You can see the various shells and enclosures that I've taken apart to paint while they're outside the trailer. So my strategy is to paint them outside a first coat and let that all dry and set up and then we will install them and put the final coats and the touch up paint on them while they're inside the trailer. This is the same Dove white that I used on the interior to begin with. And we're going to trim it out with some dark gray that I had left over from another job as well. Here you can see some more parts that I've painted. <clears throat> and they're waiting, they're drying out, waiting time these I need to flip over and paint them a second coat uh, or on the other side of them one thing I want to point out especially for you guys and I don't it's it I, I don't mean to generalize but it is what it is if you you guys if you want your wife or you want your children to go on these excursions with you and you you build these kinds of things out I don't know about y'all, but my wife is a master at finding splinters. And so I've sanded all the edges and dressed it all up and made it look good. But guys, I, I, I guess it's, I, I just know where to put my hands and not get splinters. But if I build out shelves and cabinets, my wife is going to fly, find the splinter. Wherever the splinter might be, she's going to be the one that's going to locate it and that can put an end to your nice weekend i mean she, sometimes she finds some booger splinters some real big ones so my suggestion is to really really look over your creations and your assemblies to ensure that all the potential splinters are taken care of before you get out on the road and something tragic happens and uh, your kid gets the master splinter or something. 